Hello fishies, welcome back to another one of our smash mural pieces. This week is Falcon. Falco. Falco. Not Falcon. There is no N. Some people think that the name Falco is just a mix between Falcon and Marco though. I don't know if that's true or not. That's a pretty basic way to think about it though. The other, the other idea is that it's from the genus of falcon. I, I don't know if that's accurate either. Anyways, he is one of the pilots in in Fox's team, not the uh, the opposing pirate-ish team. I think they were pirates. I'm gonna believe they were pirates, even if they're not. <laughs> Anyways, he is a uh, very like confident, maybe overly confident sort of pilot who wants to get things done by himself and be the best in best in the fleet. I was gonna say league. This is not a league, or is a league? But there is no recorded mention of his family so we don't even know if he has an actual living family unlike Fox where we have deep lore backstory about his dad I don't know if it's really all that deep I don't know I just like the word lore I blame MatPat for that <laughs> um but I kind of like the design of Falcon, Falco. I need to stop saying it like that. I'm sorry. Um, but I just think he's very sleek and very nice looking. Uh, he's based on some sort of bird. It was a red-throated something. I wrote it down, but I also realized I wrote down the wrong name of it, and so I can't find it now, which is quite unfortunate. I wanted to say Arakakra, but that's that's a D&D &D race. <laughs> I mean, Star Fox could just be a D&D &D campaign in space. Everything is just a D&D &D campaign, if you really think about it. <laughs> He's shaking his head at me. Apparently not everything is a D&D campaign. But they even have a heron gone. <laughs> right? Peppy Peppy slash Pepper Pepper he is a heron gone. He's an anthropomorphic rabbit. That that's basically the same thing. Um But anyways they go through the various wars that Star Fox goes through, and Falco, for a while, decides, nah, it's too much, and he needs some space. So he goes and does his own thing and becomes a rogue to just do whatever. See, they even called him a rogue. <laughs> <laughs> I might just like D&D &D just, just a tiny bit. Or maybe like a lot of it. Anyways. So he goes rogue for a while and then comes back. Uh, one of his escapades, he uh, comes back to meet Crystal for the first time. When he rejoins. Which I feel like, again, Crystal is just very... She's very noticed. <laughs> she is very popular. I I kind of miss the old dynamics of like collecting trophies. I feel like the stickers in Smash Bros. Ultimate just the stickers and the sprites just aren't the same. I miss the GameCube where you just had like the weird like oh what was it? You threw coins at it and. It was like a, it was like a gumball machine, but for trophies. 
And then you would get some of them from doing, like, the little, um, challenges, like the classic mode and the story mode and all that jazz. Do you get anything from doing those in Smash Ultimate? You get a sticker that says, hey, you did good. No, you get a record. That's, that's what you get. You get a record. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't gotten much into, like, the outside stuff of Smash Ultimate. I've just kind of played the actual, you know, fighting aspect of it. I mean, we did do, like, the, what was it, 100 man, 1000 man, it was a 1000? Oh, it was just 100? It felt like a 1000. They didn't stop. There was a lot of them. And we didn't do too hot. We kept on, like, stopping 60, I think. And... I don't know. I've never been super great at Smash Bros. It's more just like, I grew up with brothers, and so I was, like, legally obligated to play it. <laughs> you know how it goes with siblings. But, it's been fun, and I always like seeing the various characters that we get in for these things. And, um, some of the future ones will be adoptables. Um, that'll be on our Twitter page if you guys are interested. Um, yeah. I hope you guys have been enjoying this series, and we do still have some spots that could be taken by characters if you're interested in being part of this series. It's a, it's a long time in the making. It's been like, has it been a year yet? It's been eight months. Yeah, eight months. He's fact checking me, so give, a, give us a second to buffer. <laughs> Nine months. This is officially my baby. Right? If you spend nine months on it, it counts as your baby. I think that's that's t that's totally a thing. It's that's not actually a thing. Don't don't actually follow that advice. Just because you spend nine months with a thing does not make it your child. <laughs> I also hope you guys have enjoyed the newest like Paper Mario series that I started recently. There's going to be a lot more of that because it's nostalgic and we are very much enjoying nostalgia on this channel, if you hadn't noticed. <laughs> um, but thanks for your guys' support. Uh, it was 298 days ago. Is that when we started? Oh, wow. 298 days ago is when... Link came out. Not of the closet. <laughs> uh, I'm talking about the very first video that we put in this Smash roster. Um, and my art has gotten a lot better since then. So, I don't know. You guys who are artists, you get the feeling... I just feel bad that my art was not as good for the for the past ones, but I'm happy to see my progress, you know? But I, uh, I can't go back and fix all the ones that I did. There is not enough time in life. <laughs> but it's definitely been a fun journey, and I hope you guys have enjoyed watching along for the ride. I also, I really like our new format. It looks so much cleaner than it was. And then I don't have to worry about accidentally leaving spoilery tabs at the top. <laughs> um, but thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, again, 
all your guys' participation and, you know, support helps us. Uh, we hope to grow and be able to spend more time on this, so anything helps, make sure to share these with your friends. Alright, bye!